seem to miscalculate the cubic sheet velocity through a circular extension. <laughs> Here's a riddle for you all. What's better than having two awesome T-ranked episodes in a row? Give up. Okay, okay, enough is enough. For real though, the answer is three awesome T-ranked episodes in a row. But anyway, Flea Big Med, while the last memorable of the two segments of episode 10 for others, has its almost fair share of moments for me personally. The Ed set up a gang called Ed's Pet Boutique and offered to clean Rolf's farm animals, and as they do so, Ed develops allergies for bunnies. After tying Ed down so he can't float away, Double D and Eddie treat Ed's allergies, which is pretty much their second wholesome act in a row. The first one being Double D and Eddie sleeping over at Ed's house to make sure he doesn't escape back in the previous episode, a glass of warm Ed. After using cold cream, tacum powder, and ice, Ed is finally back to normal, and the Edge go to deliver Rolf's animals back, only to see that, as Double D puts it. Seems like Mr. and Mrs. Bunny have been practicing the multiplication table. Like a glass of warm Ed, this episode has a whole bunch of memorable moments where I can't even list them all. But I'll do my best anyways. Ed saying that he put the sign on the garage when he clearly put the sign on upside down. Ed, you put the sign on upside down! No, I put the sign on the garage. It's Jimmy Cracked Corn and I don't care line. Jimmy Cracked Corn and I don't care. The animation when Egg develops allergies. Just to name three at the top of my head anyway. I also, once again, can relate to this episode because I'm also allergic to cats and I almost died twice from an asthma attack just from being around them. Once when I was five and once more when I was seven. Which is why to this day, I refuse to be around cats, let alone own one. But I'm not here to be down in the dumps. I'm here to rank every Ed and Eddie episode from seasons 1 to 4. Speaking of which, I'm gonna rank Flea Bit Ned on the awesome tier between Laugh at Laugh and Tag Your Ed. Mainly because it's funny, but I can also relate to it at the same time. In a negative sense, of course, but still, 